Dr. Nankavis, thank you so much for this interview. Uh, would you like to present your views on strategic human resource management towards the future? So the first question I would like to ask you is, do you think the newly proclaimed United Nations new sustainable development goals help corporate social responsibility and effective corporate governance? In short, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. My only concern, I, I think it's an exciting development across mm -hmm. the region in different countries. Maybe that's not so important in Australia as perhaps in Southeast Asia or East Asia or, or mm -hmm. South Asia. But it seems to me that it's an impetus for companies to take seriously the idea of corporate social responsibility to the mm -hmm. organisations and the context in which they operate. Um, but I, I'm a bit uh, sceptical about whether they'll take up the opportunity, unless for some incentives. Mm -hmm. But I think these days the incentives are for reputational rewards. In other words, you seem to be a good employer because you you exercise corporate mm -hmm. social responsibility in it. And particularly with the number of scandals we've had over the last few years in banks in Australia and other organisations, I think that's becoming increasingly important. I don't think organisations tend to do things altruistically. They mm -hmm. do it for their own benefit. And if it's to the benefit not to lose money by going through royal commissions or losing customers through a, a bad reputation, I think they will probably start to develop targeted programs which fulfil the UN Sustainable Development Goals. I remain sceptical and I would hope that the HR professionals who are really part of the responsibility for CSR are prepared to take up the baton and, and, and operate new programs, new resources, new projects. And I think they will in the longer term, certainly the mm -hmm. better organisations will. But I think it's an impetus and a necessary impetus for organisations to push them to do things they should do, should have done already. In terms of corporate governance, that's a given, I think, mm -hmm. these days. Companies can't yeah. be seen to be mis mm -hmm. misbehaving, but mm -hmm. uh, there will still be some outliers, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Finally, artificial intelligence enhance human resource decision making and ensure a compliance in workplaces. I don't think you can ensure compliance, but you can work, work towards trying to encourage it. Mm. But I think artificial intelligence, particularly in human resource management information systems, is quite important in, in collecting accurate data and making sure yes. that the trends mm. are, and projections are more mm. accurate than they were using just manual techniques. Also, I think I mentioned before about performance monitoring. Artificial intelligence is already being used for that purpose. Yes. Even yes. in some cases, facial recognition, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a worry, but they're already using it, and I think they will in the future. I think it's also useful for better recruitment and selection techniques and criteria. It's useful for learning and development. It may lead to individualised remuneration and career development programs. Um, and I think it will add to the existing HR metrics and analytics that we're already using, which are a bit primitive. Mm. It may may make them a bit more easy to collect the data and also easy to analyse and use the data mm -hmm. in the future. But yes, I would think in the longer term, they'll be very useful technologies in um, HR decision making and HR data collection, HR data analysis planning. But there, were, there is a, would you agree that mm -hmm. develop and developing countries, there's a big gap when we talk about the artificial intelligence? Yes, yes. I saw something recently from um, one of the consulting companies mm -hmm. looking at, uh, no, it wasn't consulting, mm -hmm. UNCTAD, U-N-C-T-A-D, which was looking at the preparedness of countries to adopt artificial mm -hmm. intelligence. And it was pretty obvious, as you'd expect, that the developing countries, the emerging economies, haven't got the capacity to deal with it yet, although they can do it on small scales. But that's the same as individual small organisations who don't have the money or resources to employ it or the willingness or the understanding and I think one of the issues for HR is that a lot of HR managers and professionals mm. don't have the digital skills themselves yeah. or don't have an understanding. We did a survey last year I think it was about we called it are we there yet mm -hmm. which was about the little kid in the car looking for are we at mm. McDonald's yes, yet yes. Mm -hmm. but it was it came out in a fairly depressing kind of results that mm. many HR professionals didn't believe that that the fourth industrial revolution was here or that AI technology was very useful. Mm -hmm. More than half. And 
about 40% did and were starting to develop digital skills, but that's still a long way from ideal. Thank you so much. Very interesting topic. Thank you for your time.